here I'm going to, I'm decided I want a bit of heat so I'm going to just finely chop a, um, a red chilli so I'm just going to, I'm going to leave the seeds in just because I'm only using one and just finely slice and then just hack through it a little bit to, to break it up into smaller pieces but chilli totally optional here, it depends on if you're feeling the need for some spice. All for the salad and chilli goes in. And I want, I'm using sherry vinegar, but you know, any um, wine vinegar will be fine here or lemon juice. So you just want about a tablespoon of, of your acid and get a little bit of salt in to season our salad. And by dissolving it in the, ac in the um, acid, kind of did that make sure that the seasoning gets spread evenly throughout the salad. And then we want, get, want some good extra virgin olive oil. Um, so either two to three, I think I might go for three today just um, so it'll be um, it won't be so punchy it'll be kind of a bit more of a mellow salad so it's got the sharpness from the chili there so we don't really want it to be too acidic just have a little taste so that's lovely it's um the spinning is really really fresh and um can taste the seasoning and the chili is just adding some nice warmth and freshness as well so we've just got a can of drained drain pe pe chickpeas we'll just toss those through and next we'll prepare our couple Nero. So um, you know any greens would be would be fine here. You know, just some rocket or baby spinach, but I had some lovely wintry here in Cabo Nero. It's been quite cool here recently, so I kind of felt like that would be good for my salad. So all we'll do, I've washed it and kind of patted it dry. So just get rid of the stalks and then we'll just shred it. So fine slice it as finely as possible. Then. Fine for um, coarser leaf greens like this, shredding them um, makes them really lovely in salads. So uh, you could use silver beet here or spinach if you didn't have or kale, um, you know, heaps of things there. So kale goes in, and then we're just going to finish it off with some um, parmesan cheese. So. Um, you know, cheese totally optional here, that would be a lovely salad in its own right, but I, this is just going to add a bit of extra flavour and a bit of extra interest. So just a couple of handfuls, smallish handfuls of finely grated parmesan, or you could shave parmesan over the top if you wanted to, like put curls on, you know, heaps of different options there. And then just toss and that's our salad done.